I'm Mara Dresner. I'm here with Neil Dukoff, author of No Compromise Leadership, A Higher Standard of Leadership Thinking and Behavior. Welcome, Neil. What is No Compromise Leadership? No Compromise Leadership is a leadership style. It's a mantra. It's something that begins with the individual, the individual's commitment to playing the game at the highest level. So when we talk about the highest standard of leadership thinking and behavior, no compromise defines it. No compromise says, and I have these things in the book called nihilisms, and one nihilism is if it needs to be done, it gets done. Another nihilism is if I can't sleep at night, no one sleeps at night. No compromise leadership says we are committed to the ultimate success of the company and we let nothing stand in the way. We don't see problems, acknowledge they exist, and do nothing about it. That's compromise. And little tiny things like seeing problems, not engaging, performance problems, behavior problems in a company, operational problems, customer service problems, little pieces of compromise add up and they chip away at a company. They chip away at its profitability. They cause turnover. They cause stress. How does somebody learn to become a no-compromise leader? To learn to become a no-compromise leader first has to begin with a commitment personally to playing the game differently. In the book, I talk about preparing to become a no-compromise leader and are you ready to become a no-compromise leader. And I talk about uh, the ten tenets of no-compromise leadership. Uh, the first is having absolute clarity on where you're taking your company. And no-compromise, it's that laser dot that you put on the map or a target or an objective and say, that's where I'm taking the company. But if you start to feel this no compromise thinking inside, it begins to come out in the performance of the company. So we have the tenets of no compromise leadership. We talk about installing a no compromise operating system, your, your mental thinking, how you process your behavior. No compromise has to begin with the leader if you expect it to happen in the rest of the company. It's so easy for leaders to sit back and say, you didn't do it right, and this and how did they think this way, and my God, I can't believe they did this and they did that. It's coming from leadership. It's not them. It's, it's where's the compromise coming from the leader, and can you flip that switch? Can you get it from that compromise zone where things misfire, you don't engage, you get distracted, you let problems go on too long, and you flip that switch, you dial it over to that no compromise zone where if it needs to be done, it gets done. And that piece begins with you. And then how does that impact the company? Well, the first part of the book where I talk about how you become a no compromise leader and the things that you have to do for yourself and that mental shift and the commitment you have to make to it. The second part of the book is all the mechanics. And that's where you, you, you learn and master the tools of no compromise leadership and it's all around the four business outcomes you know productivity profitability uh, staff retention and recruitment and customer loyalty building customer loyalty four very specific outcomes and that's what you're pointing no compromise leadership at it's one thing to say I'm a no compromise leader but the second part of the book shows you where to point it and how to execute it the real magic happens in the third part and that's where you do the culture shift to a no compromise company. It evolves beyond the leader, where execution throughout the company is evident. It's measurable. Growth is measurable. Employee satisfaction, commitment, and all of the rewards that come with that. In today's economy, is this especially relevant? Oh, the book would have been relevant at any point in time for any leader in any company whatsoever. But when you look at the economy today, you look at the challenges, you look at financing issues, you look at the layoffs, the cost of doing business, fuel operating, you name it, the game got really tough. 
And it's like someone took a puzzle that you knew how to put together, you knew the pieces, and someone took the puzzle and they cut it into different shapes, made it more intricate. And then they turned the whole thing upside down so you wouldn't even be able to see the picture. Now, put the puzzle together. So there are solutions to make it through this economic crisis that we're in. And no compromised leadership says, I'm going to work the puzzle. I will tenaciously and courageously work that puzzle so I can get to the other side. I want to be a strong company on the other side of this economic mess that we're in. And no compromised leadership says, we will play the game at its highest level. We will rid our company of compromise. Neil, what would you like to see every leader do today on their journey to become a no compromise leader? Simple answer. Make the commitment. Own where your company is at. If it's wildly successful, own it and enjoy it. But if it's misfired, if it's sprung leaks, own it, address it, it's history. What will you do from this point forward? Compromise or no compromise? Are you going to play the game at the highest level or something less? Do you want to live in the compromise zone? Do you want to live in the mediocrity zone? Destroy from within zone. And then we have another zone called the fiery pits of hell and we don't want to be in there at all. But many companies find themselves in there. Entrepreneurs find themselves in the fiery pits of hell. The no compromise leader says, I want to live in the no compromise zone. That 85 to 100 percent, I want to be there and play the game at the highest level. Thank you, Neil. To learn more, order your copy of No Compromise Leadership today.